Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I'm so excited to come your way again with another video. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate the love and the support you give always. And happy Sunday to you all wherever you are watching me. Guys, um, the Super Eagles are preparing for their next match against uh, Guinea-Bissau tomorrow. And uh, the goalkeeper, Stanley Inwabili, has been speaking to the reporter. But before I give you the details about what he's been saying, I'd like to say thank you for coming. It's a channel to be. Thank you for the effort you have made to be here. And the uh, paraventure you are here for the first time and you are here to subscribe to the channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. Uh, press notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. Okay? And also help share this video as much as you can if it is possible for you to do. I'll be glad you do that. And uh, to all my missing subscribers, the new and the returning one, I want to appreciate you greatly. And all my friends appreciate you. And I want to say thank you very much. Please watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share the video as much as you can, if it is possible for you to do. All right, now let's go straight into the gist. AFCOM 2023. Stanley Wabili reveals what Coach Pesero told him. Yes, Coach Pesero and Stanley Wabili. What is the discussion between them? Let's hear this. In a move that took almost everyone by surprise, you know, the Nigerian manager, Coach Joseph Pesero, opted to hand a competitive debut to Stanley Wabili in a side opening game of the African Cup of Nations against Equatorial Guinea. You know, Nigeria were faced with a goalkeeping crisis in the months leading to the beginning of AFCON with first choice goalkeeper Francis So a shadow of himself due to his inactivity at his club site, Ammonia Negocia. So shortcomings were exposed during the 2026 World Cup qualifiers and friendly matches and it was thought his sins had been forgiven as he was heavily tipped to get the nod in goal against the uh, Equatorial Guinea. Goalkeeper Stanley Wabili had played in two matches for the Super Eagles before the start of the African Cup of Nations, both of them in friendly, in friendly matches. But he, he won the goalkeeping battle against the Soho despite his lack of experience on the international stage. The cheaper United goalkeeper did say that he only find out he was starting on the night before the game against Equatorial uh, Guinea and was instructed by Coach Pesero to keep the information to himself and not to leak it out. Goalkeeper Ngwabili was speaking to a reporter and he had this to say, to be honest, it's been nice. It's been God throughout, but I'm not the first choice. So is still the first choice. Goalkeeper, I only had an opportunity to play. I feel I have to do my best when I have the opportunity to play. I was not expecting to play the opening game, but I'm ready even when I got the call up but I was not sure of his starting place. The goalkeeper admitted. On how he got to know he was going to start against Equatorial Guinea and what uh, Coach Pesero told him, goalkeeper Wabili answered, he didn't talk to me initially. It was a day before our game. After our last training, he came to me, Stanley, keep it to yourself, you are going to play. I told him I'm always ready and not worried about it. After considering seven goals in his first three matches, Gokipan Wabili kept his clean, first clean sheet in Nigerian color in the recent 1-0, which we over uh, Côte d'Ivoire, and it was a very massive win for Nigeria. As a matter of fact, and he kept Nigeria believing again that the Super Eagles 
are capable of going far in this tournament. Well, it's unfortunate for goalkeeper Francis Rousseau, who has been the number one goalkeeper before now, but because of, you know, a uh, series of mistakes he's been making, and uh, it makes the goalkeeping department to be very shaky in such a tournament like this. So, the coach finally decided to scout for Nwabili, who is now, who has now manned the first two, manned the post for the first two matches the Super Eagles played. Guys, what is your opinion about it? Do you think uh, goalkeeper Stanley in Wabili is capable of being Nigerian number one goalkeeper? And what has been his performances so far in the first two matches he played? What do you have to say about it? Let me know your opinion. Is he capable? Can he be relied upon? Yes. All this will be interesting if you can make it, if you can write something about it in the comment section. Thank you very much. If you have watched the video to this end, I want to say thank you. I appreciate the love and the support. All right? If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel. Press notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos, okay? And uh, to all my friends, keep on supporting, keep on believing. Yes, you are the best. Thank you so much, guys. You know, it is possible to be the best you want to be if your mind is set on it. Dream it and you will achieve it. It is possible. Okay? That's all I have to share with you at this moment. I appreciate the love and the support I've received from you. Till I come your way next time with another video. Bye-bye.